Welcome back everyone. We'd just like to start off with a massive thank you for all the comments and support with the channel so far. With all that being said, let's get straight into today's project. So this is something that I've wanted to try for a while. When I'm not in the workshop, I love to try my luck at metal detecting. I find lots of old one pound coins that are no longer in circulation. This gave me the idea to make a double headed coin. I'm going to start by selecting two identical coins, including dates. Before I machine the coins, I'm going to soak them in brick acid for an hour to hopefully lift the surface dirt and corrosion. So here I have the two coins I've selected for this project. After an hour in soak, I know they don't look the part yet, but after a good polish, they come up like this. So the next step is to use this custom tapered collet that I made to hold the fan coin. I'm just mounting the tape of collet in the headstock of the machine. I'm going to place the coin in. Now I'm going to bore out the centre of the coin. I've got to repeat the process for the second coin, ready for the final step. Now I've bored out the internal diameter of both coins, ready for the next step, which is to turn the outside diameter down of one coin so it fits inside the other. Here I'm using a DTI clock to centralise the coin. The coin's all centralised. I'm now going to turn the outside diameter down. All the machining is complete, ready for final assemble and polish. All together very nicely. Now for the final polish before I start making the mount. So there you have it, a flawless double headed one pound coin. Now to machine a mount for it to sit into. Now 
These are the pieces I'm going to use to make the mount. I'm going to start by turning a flange onto this piece to centralise this piece so I can drill the three holes. Next step is to remove the chuck and take it over to the pillar drill. Now I've got the chuck on a pillar drill, I'm going to glue this piece on so it doesn't move. There's two more holes left to drill. I've already drilled one just to make sure it's still going to work. I'm going to warm it up gently with a blowtorch just to break the super glue seal. So here I'm threading the holes. The chuck's mounted back on the lathe. I'm now going to clean the outside diameter up. Next, I'm going to remove the three screws in the front and also the front piece and then I'm going to bore out the centre to house the coin. Now it's time to part the mount off. With parting off finished, I swapped the jaws over in the chuck and I'm now going to reface the back. A final polish should bring this little piece to life. So there you have it, a brilliant example of a double headed coin mounted in a funky brass capsule, all made from metal detecting fines and some scrap metal. I hope you enjoyed today's video, thanks for watching, see you soon.